Alright, I've got the proof of concept for my battery backup UPS. I've got my 1500 watt inverter, peak 3000 watts, pure sine wave inverter. Output voltage 123, 124 volts. Input voltage, that's 50.2 volts DC. It's currently sagging a bit because there's a heavy load. And it has a heavy load because my furnace is currently plugged into it. The furnace is currently pulling 410 watts. It's pulling more than normal right now because I shut it off mid-cycle, which probably isn't a good idea. So it's full blowers right now. Um, it's as most that it will ever use. Generally when it's calling for heat, it pulls about 310 watts. And then from the 48 volt or 54.6 volt battery, it's pulling a steady nine amps right now. And that is about as most that I'm comfortable with with this. They are, each cell should be able to handle four amps uh, sustained. But I wanna keep it under two amps. And at this right now, it's about one and a half amps per cell. Um, they're not getting warm at all, which is good. And even the um, BMS is, uh, is not, forgive the dirty dog towels in the background. Um, so I'm very happy with that. And uh, the furnace is blowing just as strong as it normally does. It sounds normal. It's not winding or grinding or anything like some inverters would cause uh, motors and electronics to do. So I'd call this a big success. It's upside down. Alright, I'm going to shrink wrap this battery and I've got another one in the works and eventually I'm going to have four of these batteries. And the idea is that they'll be modular and I'll be able to use them in my e-bike.